I never would have thought they would persecute my wife to death while she was three months pregnant. Just because she and the rest of our family practice Falun Gong. Falun Gong is a peaceful meditation practice that came to popularity in the 1990s. At least 70 million Chinese people took it up. The popularity of Falun Gong cautioned a former dictator, Jiang Zemin. He launched a Maoist-style campaign of persecution against the practice to consolidate his political power. The Chinese Communist Party has educated us to believe that it is great, glorious and correct. Because I persevered with my faith in Falun Gong, I was subjected to two years of re-education through labour and experienced physical and mental torture. After I got out, I was told that the 610 office, which is China's Gestapo, was about to capture me again. I thought to myself, if we stay in China, we die in China. If we leave China, we could also die trying. I left China alone. It was safer for my daughter to stay with my mother. I escaped to Thailand and gained protection and refugee status from the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees in Bangkok. Three months later, with the help of Falun Gong practitioners and family members, my daughter and I reunited in Thailand. I started to expose the CCP's genocide of Falun Gong while there. But China has many spies in Southeast Asia, and they started tracking me. Later on, under pressure from the Chinese embassy in Thailand, the Thai police arrested us and put us in the immigration detention center. Upon discovering our dangerous situation, the New Zealand government immediately issued us special visas and secured us a safe passage to migrate to New Zealand. I feel that the majority of people in New Zealand have a strong sense of human rights and justice. This inspired me to speak out more about the persecution of Falun Gong to the general public and the media. Consequently, the Chinese embassy in New Zealand began spying on us. I could tell that my mobile phone was tapped. They also sent someone to smash our windows and mailbox. The message was very clear. If I continued to speak out, both my daughter and I would be in danger. My parents were also visited and warned by the police in China that they would be arrested if I didn't keep quiet. I began to reflect. What do I have inside of me that is feeding this monster? Was it because I had a strong sense of fear? The CCP has made us fearful. Then they capitalize on this weakness to hold us hostage and to keep us as slaves. It was at this moment that I decided not to be a slave anymore. I believe each of us Chinese people need to calmly and rationally evaluate ourselves and our role in fostering the climate of corruption and violence that prevails in modern-day China, a climate which has allowed such tragedies like the persecution of Falun Gong to continue abated.